be a little different than previous ones. In that I'm not I'm not just gonna teach you the concepts. Basically, I'm gonna have you guys run through sequences of moves, and then I'm gonna explain to you the little concepts that went into doing it. Um, the reason for this is because I've noticed. Um, over the years of teaching that the hardest thing for me to teach now is the three beat weave with ploy. And that sounds really silly, but um, but there's there's kind of this this graying of the line between beginner and advanced. And, um, and when it came to coming up with stuff with the fans, like most of the stuff is single spin things. And it's really easy. And so when people say like advanced fans, there's really nothing advanced about it. So basically I'm just gonna ask you to, to, to follow the moves that I do and then we'll go back through and I'll explain to you and you'll get the parts that you missed. But I'm willing to bet that most of you guys will be able to do these entire sequences without thinking about it too hard. There's pretty much, even though I hate thinking about it in these terms, there's pretty much five things you can do with a fan. I'll run through those really quick. There's waving, just moving them around. That doesn't, you know, uh, it's just anywhere, pretty much from the shoulder. That could be extensions, um, straight, doesn't matter. Um, there's a uh, flipping, which is showing the other, the other side of the fan. This can be vertical or horizontal. Um, there's twisting, which is from the forearm, and that is this. Um, you can also do it this way. You are showing the other side of the fan, but the difference in the flip is end over top over bottom, as opposed to side over side. Um, then we have tilt, which is pretty much just used for charging spins um, back and forth. Um, I'll run through that briefly a little later, uh, like you know, double tapping in the same direction and things like that. Um, and also some like aim waving stuff that where wrist tilts really come in. Um, spin, of course, everybody knows that. Um, a lot of the stuff we're going to get into today is a lot of like single spin and, and things like that. Um, but let's start with number one, um, waving. As I started getting into more uh, tech fan stuff, uh, I kind of forgot how to dance with him. And then I met this wonderful man named Kevin Axtell. You guys know who this guy is? Um, he's a really good club spinner and he does this thing where he takes his clubs and he leans them back and forth in succession like this. And that pretty much put me back in touch with my tool in a way I hadn't felt in like a year and a half. Because I kind of forgot that, you know, fans are a dance toy, you know. It's, there's a, if you don't, you know, move around and move them, it just doesn't really work. So, um, we'll play around with a couple waving things real quick. Um, one is this guy. Um, the, to make it like easy, kind of fluid, it's just like cricking it and aiming that corner that way. But if you lead a little bit with the bottom, you can go really wide with this or really small. Excellent. You can also lay these on the side, and that's kind of fun. You can kind of walk with it. That's kind of fun. Um, and you can you can lead these all over the place with one, you know, in this line right here, where handle, handle, um, both handles leading, and you can take this form all over the place. You can even do like weird buzzsaw stuff, but I haven't really worked that out yet. Um, but keeping them moving, this is a really good base move. If you're not sure what you're doing or what you want to do next, it's a good thinking move. You don't really have to think much. You can be like, all right, what am I going to do next? It's just pretty. Um, also, you know, everybody knows all this stuff. Um, all, all very useful. Got no qualms with it. Um, weaves, also very good. Um, just to kind of slowly move while you're thinking about what you want to do next. Um, and uh, aimed weight. Um, kind of a big deal. Notice when I'm like doing this, turn the fan and you make a pass handle to handle. And with this, we are leading with both handles. Um, you can also you can also lead with the wicks um, and you know change directions. And it looks completely different. Whereas like when you're waving handle first, it's kind of more receptive, more inward. And wicks first are more outward, more powerful. And you'll see later on we're getting into like glides and stuff like that. Things where the wicks point out much more aggressive looking. Um, so uh, I find those those receptive waves to be the, the easiest things to uh, to use, just kind of in between tricks or what have you. So um, so aim waving, very nice. Um, give that a try just for a second. Um, and get get used to that flipping maneuver and and, uh, and making it fluid. We're later on going to use this. If you want to, you can try it now. As you flip, let a thumb slide in. Thumb slide. Kind of flip back and forth. Pirouettes, uh, extensions. You know, these guys. Um, good times. Everybody know that that thing, like the Yuta thing. One leg down. One leg down. Pirouette is pretty much you know, put your arms out. You want to lean forward. You got your shoulders pointed this way. 
back. But that's pretty much what happens all the time. But there's a way to do it where you don't have to do anything like that because that's, you know, painful. So, put your arms out and point at whatever leg is out. Um, I'm a lefty. You guys probably do this. Um, basically, you point down to the leg, point out to the sky, and then you just swing around and stick. Pointing at your other foot. There you go. Same direction. Step. <laughs> so, um, everybody know these guys? Uh, linear isolations. Um, don't forget your wrist turns. It's really important. So you can do those out to the side, yeah? When you do them out to the side, you end up pinky to pinky. All right. So you guys ready to follow? So, push him out to the side and you're pinky to pinky. Now pretty much you're gonna let this guy go. You just let go and move your arm back. And this is what's happening. You let go and it's a, it's a glide. It's kind of a hoop isolation move. Um, and really, really the fan does the work for you. All you do is let go and move your arm in a straight line and it'll meet you on the other side. But your hand has to turn this way while the fan goes under. So, if you're out to the side, you let that go, but instead of going on the outside, you tuck it right here. <laughs> just going to rotate like so. <laughs> yes. So let go. Goes through. Rotate. Awkward position, yeah? All right. Now I want you to face, face him towards me. Now you should be thumb to thumb in a really awkward position, yeah? All right. So you're going to twist this top guy. Whoa. Wait, what? Say what? Bottom guy. Um, the, sorry, the bottom guy is just going to draw a circle like this. Make these two thumb whips completely stuck together. you got to reach this one out a little farther so it'll clear, though. And then just... There. All right, now this one's a little weird, too. I want you to push your top one out. And I want you to push these two end wicks out this way. Yes. And then come back in. Push your bottom fan out. Rotate the top. Yeah. And then you push out, like double stacks. Back in, back in the awkward position. Push your bottom way out. Rotate. And then you should be pushing out uh, away from your palms, like towards the, on the top of your hand side. Uh, pass each other and in. And yeah, this guy sliding back through. You can also do that wall plane with your palm out. You reach across your body and let go. You slide. Yeah, it's very nice. Um, you can also do these with both. Okay. You can do them opposites. You can do them in different directions. Um, and these are just also a really good kind of, you know, move into the beat, but I don't really want to fit too hard. Put them both out in butterfly or uh, buzzsaw position. And I want you to glide one back, like so. Then uh, this one's going to come back out just like that, but then this one is going to glide back. Oh, you glide gliding both on the same. Yep, both on the same side. And it's kind of, they're kind of passing right here. It's a little bit tight, but not horrible. Here you are. Uh, you might, might want to, you know, give this one a try with the other hand. Probably not used to using the, the other hand to go through the same space. Just try that a couple of times. And this also, you know, these are really fun to just bounce in and out of. So, this is an, I usually actually start these with the fans kind of pointed up, and one comes back, and they kind of stay opposite the whole time. And then, and then, you know, this. So, so you stack those, and you take a step back with every one. And then walk with that stack. And then stop, and woo! If you're leaning way back and it's uncomfortable, um, just know that after a while it won't be that way. Um, it should be relatively low stress. You're pretty much just like lifting your arms up to about forehead level. And then you can just kind of, as you go around, like one comes up. You don't actually have to bend over at all. But just... So, now this guy, uh, I want you to flip up and bring down here. Basically, uh, you're in a box. Not a diamond, but a box. Four corners on the diagonals. Here, 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 here. So this one, you, this one you toss up and pull it down. Congratulations, you just did an any spin, by the way. 
And then this guy, just all you do is this. Yep. And definitely, yeah, point it back behind you a little bit. You're aiming for the 45 degree corner there. So you're here and here. So once again, you're going to toss this one up and bring this one down. And everybody see what happened there? It was like a, a linear isolation in the center. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's, uh, it's an 80 spin flower using single spins and catches. Oh, okay. <laughs> you are sneaky. <laughs> really weird. It's going to feel really funny. Um, let's go. Everybody's probably a righty, yes. If you're a lefty like me, use your left, um, but righties. Let's go here out in front first. And you're going to toss up and catch. All right? Now what I need you to do is when you toss up, you're going to slide it here. Yes. Very nice. Um, so now you guys have used the inside space on the top. Now you see the inside space on the bottom. Both hands on top. Straight out. Both hands back. <laughs> then just rotate down, <laughs> then throw them up and out. Ah. Yes. Um, likewise, other direction. Let's start from, from this position. You're going to toss up and come down. Toss up and come back. Just lift. Lift your arms a little bit and let go. Excellent.